Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So within today's video, we are going to be talking about the latest regarding Ansu Fati and also Jules Kunde. And then lastly, within this video, we're going to be having a little fun. We are going to be talking about exactly what Barcelona is going to be wearing against Real Madrid on that classical night. Yes, I know that it does sound very strange for me to like say this right now, but our shirts are going to look a little different on that day. And we are going to be discussing exactly that within today's video. But before we go into today's video, I do want to speak about our sponsor for today and that is the one football app if you want to find out where i do get my information from when it comes when it does come to football stats team stats player stats all of that information all of these articles that i do read about the world of football it is on the one football app if you do want to download the one football app you can so by scanning the qr code that you do see here on the screen there's going to be a link also down below that's clickable it'll take you straight to the app store you can download the one football app set exactly who and what you do want to follow and then you'll be set and done from there I hope you guys do enjoy it. It is for free. It is very informative. But now let's get back into the video and let's talk about Ansu Fati. Because look, many of us are waiting when it comes to Ansu Fati and his explosion into the scene. So we want to see Ansu Fati succeed in this Barcelona shirt. Because we have to remember, this player was not called up to the Spanish national team. And many were concerned on that day. They were basically questioning, okay, is this player actually fit? Yes or no? Could that be the reason on why Lucho did not call up Ansu Fati? But then we found out that the, that the main reason why Luis Enrique did not want to call up Ansu Fati during that international break it is because he saw him mentally just not capable to take on these games like his approach on the pitch was not what he used to be and Lucho was right Luis Enrique he was right because now that we see Ansu Fati at Barcelona looking at the past three to four games he has not been 100% there when it comes to like the mental aspect of this game there is nothing going on when it comes to like his physical fitness everything is okay but it's just mentally he is not there he's not as composed as he used to be as clinical as he used to be and definitely he does give up very easy and let's go of the ball very easy in the final third and it does say here according to Helena Condis I was told that Ansu Fati is physically fine but he has a lack of self-confidence so this is very concerning right because we have seen many players suffer in this way mentally and never return to their full best right we have talked about someone like Bojan back in 2008 2009 2010 many would say that the reason why he never came back up it is because he was never under the right management they never really supported him but look we're talking about Pep Guardiola's Barcelona where everybody was mentally 100% so it was up to that individual player for him to come up yes or no so things like this do happen Ansu Fati is in the exact same scenario with FC Barcelona he has and is within a club that is 100% ready Xavi Hernandez knows how to get the best out of all of these players and you can just tell that many of these players like Dembele, Rafinha, Pedri, Gavi have all mentally upgraded and now we're waiting to see if Ansu Fati can do the exact same thing now what could be one of the answers in order for Ansu Fati to get back into that position where he is mentally there. There was this study that was basically made by Academia.edu with the author named Douglas Tim Hall who was basically explaining that the only way a player could get back up there and have that self-confidence is by doing certain things and this is what he said. People aren't born with self-confidence. Even the most self-confident people can be broken. Self-confidence comes from success, experience, and the organization's environment. The leader's most important role is to instill confidence in people. They must dare to take risk and responsibility. You must back them up if they make the mistakes. And so this is exactly it, right? Like when he did say that one of the factors is to have a very strong organization environment, that is what Barcelona have to continue to bring and just wait for Ansu Fati to blossom one day because he does have everything within this football club. I think that one of the ways that Ansu Fati can also get that self-confidence is by getting that win against Real Madrid and taking part of that win that we might actually make on Sunday night. It would empower all of the players and especially Ansu Fati. And so like we have said before, these are the exact moments where it does really divide who is a good player and who is going to be an all-time. Because we have seen Messi and Brazilian Ronaldo experience things like this, go through setbacks, but then they immediately come back onto the field and bring in a great impact. Ansu Fati has to do the exact same thing if he does want to reach those type of levels. And we need this player more than ever. Yes, we have Dembele who can play on the left and Rafinha on the right. It does work great. We see a lot of action within that front three, but nothing is better in Barcelona, but to see Ansu Fati 100% physically ready and 100% mentally ready on that left flank and to score those goals and to build with players like Lewandowski. So I do pray, right, that this player can score against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu because that's going to be another opportunity for him to get back into the level that we all do want to see him. So now let's move on towards the next phase of this video and now let's talk about Jules Kunde because this is another player that we want to see feature in the Classico. 
Joan Laporta had an interview a couple of hours ago on Barca TV. He was touching on a variety of topics, talking about how Barcelona felt after they tied against Inter Milan, how they're going to continue to move forward through this season. But one of the topics that he did touch on was about Jules Koundé. And this is what Joan Laporta had to say. Koundé will travel to Madrid with the team. So this is great news. We saw Koundé with the first team during their training session earlier today. There were good feelings, good sensations. Koundé was smiling. And seeing how Koundé was there with his afro, you know things are going to get very, very serious when he does have that afro on. So this player is so needed, right? Because we do not want to go back to that disaster defensive line that we did see against Inter Milan. We just do not want to see that. And I think that Xavi Hernandez also does not want to see that. He is going to try his very best to make Jules Koundé start within that defensive line, whether that's him playing as a right back or as a center back. We do not know yet. I think that the most ideal defensive line, just going based off who's available, would be for Xavi to field a defensive line of Sergio Roberto as the right back, Koundé and Eric Garcia as the center back duo, and Alejandro Balde as the left back. This is a defensive line that can get the job done. Maybe we could see if Xavi Hernandez wants to continue to bet on Gerard Piquet. We could see Koundé as the right back, Piquet and Eric Garcia as the center back duo, and then Alejandro Balde on the left back position. I really do think that this should not be it. I do not want to see a defensive line like this because the more I think about whether Piquet should be playing or not, the more I think about like Piquet should not play at all. Like the less I do want him. Like to me, Piquet is just mentally not there. I understand that he is going through things in his life that has nothing to do with football, but it's just, it is what it is. And we have to field our best 11 and our best defense the best way possible. And Kunde has to feature within that squad and play as a center back. And so now lastly, let's talk about what Barcelona is going to be wearing against Real Madrid. And I know that sounds very weird because you guys are like, of course, they're going to be wearing the red and blue shirt. Like, what are you talking about, Kevin? Well, it does say here that Barcelona is going to be having a Barcelona shirt, right? They're, go they're going to be wearing their home kit, but on the home kit, there is going to be the OVO sign, which is Drake's brand on that Barcelona shirt. Isn't that crazy? It is official. And it does say here that Barcelona will wear Drake's OVO branding on the front of the home kit in the Clásico on Sunday. And the reason why they are doing this, that is because Drake has reached a total of 50 billion streams, which is the first artist to ever do so on Spotify. So it's going to be so crazy to see this on the pitch. Like, I really want to buy this shirt. Like, if this is available, I would buy it. And this is what the partnership is all about. This is the reason why Spotify and Barcelona wanted to make this deal. The marketing VP of Barcelona did say this, as we have stated on numerous occasions, it is a strategic relationship through which we seek to bring together two worlds that can arouse emotion, namely music and football. This initiative is another example of this desire and the innovative spirit of our collaboration. So that's very exciting. And I cannot wait for that Sunday night. We're going to look so, so sick on that field. So that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.